Hello, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Knight's Choice Channel. My name is B, and today I'm going to talk about nettle, how to make tea, benefits, and what history has to teach us about it. All in tea stories. I would like to mention that there is timeline located down in description as well as in comments that you can use to quickly navigate through the video. First part covers general information about this plant. Second one covers history and what it has to teach us. Third one are medical benefits that we have from drinking this tea. And fourth one is cooking time. Urtica dioica, or common nettle, or just nettle, or stinging nettle, or just stinger, are all the names of the plant that we are talking about today. It is native to Europe, much of temperate Asia, northwest Africa. Unfortunately, these days it is found worldwide and in some countries it is considered invasive species. This species is comprised of six subspecies. Five of them have hollow stinging hairs that pierce through the skin and deliver a burning sensation. Its name, Urtica, comes from Latin name Uro, which means to burn, because it releases acetylcholine, formic acid, histamine and serotonin that causes that itchy and burning sensation that you feel when you touch it. It flowers from May to September. Now, stinging nettle has a long history of medical usage and is still used today in folk medicine and is used, of course, as a beverage and a food. Now, going back into the history, in Bronze Age, People living in area of modern Denmark used it to make burial clothes for their deceased. And after excavation of those fossil remainings, guess what? Those clothes still look good today. Now, in ancient Egypt, people used it to treat arthritis and lower back pain. Also, Roman troops, when they were on their quests, used it uh, to rub it on their bodies to keep themselves warm in cold weather. Going back to mythology, the nettle is symbol of Thor. Thor, god of thunder. So travelers, when they were facing bad weather conditions, including heavy rain and lightning. They would throw a bunch of nettle into the fire and pray to God of Thunder for them not to get struck by thunder. Even the Loki's magical fishing net was made from nettle. In Celtic lore, common nettle is a symbol for protection. It protects from elves and elven magic. It protects from black magic and all sources of sorcery. It's awesome. When we talk about stinging nettle and its medical properties, I have to say it has a lot of minerals, acids, polyphenols and pigments. But Let's start with the thing that it is most famous for. Stinging nettle may help suppress inflammation, which then could aid inflammatory conditions, including arthritis. Topical creams have also been developed for joint pain and various skin remedies, including eczema and dandruff. Flavonoids and caffeic acid 
found in nettle leaves contribute to the anti-inflammatory conditions because they have antioxidant and analgetic properties. Bone fortifying calcium, magnesium and iron are found in abundance as well as vitamins D and K, which all together helps bone absorb calcium. <laughs> Nettles contain vitamins and minerals that are regarded as heart protectors like flavonoids, vercetin and camphorol. They lower blood pressure and reduce risk for cardiovascular disease. On top of that, stinging metal affects white blood cells and aids in coagulation and formation of hemoglobin. Because of high content of vitamin C and iron, it is excellent for red blood cells as well and in fight against anemia. Hmm. So by drinking a cup of nettle tea every day, besides of all mentioned before, it even promotes healthy nail growth, as nettles contain silica and other minerals that are necessary for nail formation. Tea from nettle is good for nose problems as well. Other potential benefits include lessened bleeding during period, boosted liver and wound healing. Some studies suggest that it even helps decreasing the effects of adrenaline on your body. So, just wow! Okay, let's get to cooking, shall we? Now, first word of advice. If you are diabetic, if you have kidney issues, if you are pregnant, or have low blood pressure, please consult your local healthcare provider first. Also worth mentioning is, if you are drinking this tea first time, please drink only half of the cup. That way, if you receive any side effects, they will be mild. And wait 24 hours before enjoying the tea. Now, common nettle or stinging nettle it's painful to touch, so wear gloves when you pick up fresh nettles, because they can cause dermatitis. Also, when you are picking the nettle for tea or any other stuff you would like to have it for, please remember to pick only fresh part of the nettle, meaning first three to six rows of leaves or pairs of leaves then you cut them and that top part of the plant is the freshest part of the plant with that out of the way how to make tea well easy you put water to boil and when it has reached the boiling point remove it from heat source wait a minute approximately why because Vitamins and minerals, they fall apart on that high temperatures. We would like to cool it down approximately 65-70 degrees. That way, you will keep all the good stuff for yourself. Of course, when you put fresh leaves and for one cup you need between 5 to 10 leaves, when you put them in that water, don't forget to put the lid we want to keep everything inside. Okay, so to make a nettle juice, you need one jar. In that jar you can put between 30 and 50 leaves of nettle. It can be cut or it can be put all inside. Cover it with water, close with the lid and put it somewhere out of the light. Somewhere in the house that it's not too hot leave it 25 to 30 hours and then squeeze the juice out of the nettle back into the jar and uh, you can add lemon or any other citrus in that order of ideas i advise to try with oranges interesting taste i would say 
put it in the refrigerator and on warm sunny day there ain't no better drink than that. Mm -hmm. Enjoy! If you like this video, please consider pressing the like button. And if you would like to hear more stories like this, please consider subscribing. That will help our channel a lot. And if you have any questions, concerns, or things you would like to talk about, please put them in comment section. Thank you all. You have been an amazing audience. Bye!